Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. And tell yourself there's nowhere else you have to go right now. Give the mind a chance to rest, to put down its other burdens, and pick up the burden of looking after itself. Fortunately, that burden is not too heavy. All you're asked to do is just stay with the breath and try to breathe in a way that feels comfortable. Notice where you feel the breathing most obviously in the body. And then ask yourself, is that spot comfortable? Watch it through the whole in-breath, the whole out-breath. Notice when the breath is getting too long or if it's too short. If it feels like it's getting too long, stop and then breathe in the other direction. Try to keep on top of what the body needs right now. And that way you're keeping on top of what the mind needs right now. It needs a place where it can settle in, a place where it can have a sense of well-being. As the Buddha said, there is no peace other than stillness. And some people might object, saying there are lots of happiness. Excuse me, the Buddha said there is no happiness other than stillness. We might object, saying there are lots of different kinds of happiness that are not very still at all. But when you're really happy, you'd like time to stop, like it to stay right there. But it doesn't. It just flows through your fingers, like water. It shows, but then there's a sense of well-being. We want it to stay. So establish your well-being on something that can stay. The breath does change, but it comes in and it goes out, comes in and goes out. It doesn't go anywhere else. This is where the mind gets to rest. And when the mind can rest, then it can gather strength. But it's resting not just like when you're sleeping, it's resting with awareness, with mindfulness, with alertness. You're actually strengthening good qualities of the mind as you're keeping it here. Instead of drifting off, you're getting more and more present. That's how you look after the mind. Otherwise, we use it all the time, thinking about this, planning for that, remembering this, letting our emotions go up and down like a roller coaster. And as the mind takes on all these different duties, it can't help but get tired. And when it gets tired, then it doesn't perform any of its duties very well. So for the sake of the mind's true duties, and for the sake of its strength and well-being, we give it a chance to rest with clarity, with mindfulness. That way, if you look after the mind, your mind will look after you. In other words, it won't just jump for any quick pleasure. It'll be in a position where it can be a little bit more picky, choosing pleasures that are long-lasting, a happiness that is long-lasting, not running after every little thing that comes its way. That's how we say the mind looks after you. So you look after it. And you find that the benefits last for a long time.